Hey guys, this is Mary coming to you at 5 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. Oh my God. I made a couple of videos and I uploaded a couple of videos and I fixed some thumbnails and stuff and then realized it was 3.30. Then I said, I'm not going to bed because I wake up at 5. And then I had to set up some more stuff. And then I filmed part of this video already and it cut off for me. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired, but I'm not going to sleep because I wake up at 5 o'clock every day. So, to go to bed at 5 o'clock is stupid. So, I'm going to stay up and do what I normally do at 5 o'clock. First, I'm going to do this video. Then I'm going to do that other video. And then I'm going to do that other video. And then I'm going to do my normal everyday stuff. And I'll be done by 9 o'clock. <sighs> Stop playing. And then I can do my other stuff, my little people. Anyway, I was supposed to be tasting this drink in a tasting video one day. But I'm really hungry and thirsty right now because I've been up all night talking and crap. So, this is um, La La Chocolate. Oh. Chocolala chocolate low fat milk drink. Let's try it. Okay, that's good. You should get some of that. I'm only drinking it now because I'm really thirsty and hungry, so. Oh, are you still looking? Dang. Anyway, just a quick video because I only have 26 minutes of recording time right now. Let me fix that. Yeah. You see my hand all in there? I'm not editing it out either because I don't know how to edit. Not yet. Anyway, the question is about the covering. People always want to know about the covering. They always want to know why I wear it. Um, people are very judgmental and stupid and get on my nerves. And if some of them are really nice and totally understand. If they don't understand, I don't care. Because it's my life. It's my head. It's my body. Whatever. I'm not walking around. My boom boom's out. I'm not walking around with my butt out. I'm not walking around with tight stuff on. No matter how many times people tell me, you so young. Girl, you better rock it while you can and whatever. So stupid. Um, so I started wearing my hair like wrapped, like I'm going to show you one day, with my uh, material on my head and wrapped in a bun in the back. It's really cute. I got the idea off um, their hands, their eyes are watching God with a holly berry. And then... Um, I got this scarf for Christmas like two years ago, and when I went to work one day, I decided to put it on. Oh my God, it's freaking perfect. So anyway, I started wearing this when I was working at a warehouse store, warehouse, warehouse store, a warehouse job. And I put it on one day and was like, that is so gorgeous. I love it. It just makes me feel so, it's a modesty thing. Like I feel very covered. I don't know. I want to wear the whole hijab. I want to just cover my whole body. I feel like in jeans, t-shirt, dress clothes, any skirts that not down to my ankle. I feel naked. I feel exposed. I feel like I'm enticing people and causing them to have lustful thoughts, even though people will do that anyway. And I might be on a journey to being totally covered. I might just be on a journey of, you know, exploration and self-discovery. I don't know. I just know. I just feel naked all the time, even with oversized clothes on, even with men's clothes on. I just feel, I don't know, like I'm causing people to have bad thoughts, like I'm causing people. But mind you, I had friends at work that had the whole covering on, you know, head to toe. And one lady had on all black, whole face, all you could see was her eyes, whole head, whole face, all the way down her feet was covered. And they still said disgustingly sexual, immature, um, um, inappropriate things about her. And the other ladies who just had their heads covered or just had the whole, had the whole outfit on, but didn't have that, excuse me, their face covered. I don't understand. People will have those thoughts and say those disgusting things no matter what you wear. But to me, I don't want to feel like what I have on is actually causing you to say those things, causing you to not have pure thoughts. And let's say you were thinking about God for a moment, and then you saw me and said, oh, my God, look at that girl. Because I'm not small, but I am fly, and guys like girls of all sizes, and they will say disgusting things just because they can. So that's why. That's why I cover my head most of the time and a lot of my videos I don't have it covered I might just have my hair covered um or I might actually have my hair out because I love my fluffy hair I love it when it's all my natural curly puffy state but I'm kind of in conflict about it I really am like do I want it to be 
covered sometimes or do I want to be covered all the times? Do I want to cover my everything or do I just want to cover my head? And is it going to be covered on a permanent basis? I don't know. I don't know. This is not even like a proper covering. This is an infinity scarf I got for Christmas. It's really crazy. Let me show you. This is a regular scarf tied in the back. Oh, I'm going to choke myself. And this is the infinity scarf. See how it works? I normally take it, put it around my neck, loop it around, put it like this, right? Hold it in the back like so. Bring it all the way down over my face and flip it back. And then if I pull it just right in the back, which is not even the proper way to do it, that's how I normally get it. And if I do it just right, pull it just tight in the right spots, it'll totally stay like the whole time. Like I was working at a job, picking product, bending down, you know, lifting things, whatever, and it would stay on. If I didn't do it properly, it wouldn't stay on. But I don't have any, like, formal training in wrapping, you know, your head or anything. Um, I learned how to wrap it my hair the other way from watching the movie, which is crazy because the whole reason she had to um, cover her hair was because her husband was overly possessive and he felt like her hair was causing this man to lust over her. But to me, that was just a beautiful way to, to wrap your hair and cover your hair and I don't know. I'm just weird. People think I'm say I'm an old lady. They say I dress like an old lady, which I guess I do because a lot of the clothes they can, they um, accuse me of that. It's a nice older ladies at church. <laughs> normally give me but they're long skirts and I love long skirts and I love full shirts that might have some ruffling or something that will cover your breasts and so I don't know I'm working on not my style but my a way to dress to feel comfortable which may involve a whole hijab it might involve just like a large not a large like a loose like sweater Thing for the winter time and maybe a thin something that covers all the way down for the summertime so it's still like breathable like the same material that's worn in a hijab for the summertime that'll be cool and breezy but not an actual one I don't know I've talked to a few uh, Muslim ladies about it um, they totally understand the modesty thing because of course that's totally practiced um, and people of other cultures that have modesty practice very um, intensely in their culture so they usually understand um, it was a lady on Facebook in a parenting group um, single moms group that well just a moms group that um, threw this out there that she might want to wear them and some people said it was offensive and then some people said it was totally fine that's how you were you felt and a lot of those people that were for her were actually Muslim and of other cultures that wore those coverings to cover your whole body so in, in the end it's all about how you feel but at the same time it's like am I making myself a target by dressing this way or does it not matter if somebody wants to kill you or attack you they'll attack you just because you're brown you know not necessarily because you're brown and are covered up and think you're going to blow them up but people have said like really bad things you know really hurtful racist stupid ignorant things to me uh, and um, a lot of people have been really receptive and said, oh, are you a sister? I'm like, no. Or, um, you know, where are you from? And I tell them I'm from here, and I tell them this. The reason is like a modesty. It's for modesty, and they totally understand because um, they were actually Muslim of some, or of some other faith that practices, you know, total modesty, total covering. So, no, I'm not a ra I know I'm not a terrorist. No, I don't hate everybody. No, I'm not going to blow you up. No, I'm not going to kidnap you and take you to my country and train you for ISIS or whatever dumb thing you're thinking because it's so stupid. I'm not part of a sleeper cell. I love Jesus. I believe that God calls us to be modest about our bodies and that your body belongs to your husband and you own your husband to see your body. I know it, I, it seems extreme to want to cover yourself from head to toe, but I just do. Like, I don't like open shoes, even though my feet sweat. Like, I went on slip flip flops and feel naked. If I have my shoulders out and have on a tank top, I feel naked. Um, I actually feel naked in regular t shirts, even though the sleeve comes down to my elbow. That's just the way I feel about things. If my shorts come down, I wear men's shorts and they come down to my knee, I feel naked. Um, but I feel not totally naked. I feel too exposed. 
I don't want anything that comes low cut. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. And I have one shirt that if I look down, I can see down into it. And people can't see when they look at me. But the fact that I can see down into it makes me feel like other people can see into it. And it makes me feel like very self-conscious. So then I'll put this on. Usually when I wear that shirt, if I don't I wasn't already planning on wearing it, and this comes down over my chest and I feel better. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, so if you see the videos that my hair is out or the videos where I just have a scarf on my head, but not the total covering or the the one that's covered with the bun, that's just the way I felt that day. Um, it's a journey, I think, of just realizing who I am in God, the woman he wants me to be, and how much of my physical self I should be exposing. So not to overshadow the spiritual me that he wants me to show and my gifts and my talents and the way I, he wants me to reflect the way I want to reflect upon him and how I don't want to distract people from his message by seeing any any physical things that might cause them to have lustful thoughts that's just it I don't know I've been thinking about it it's been an ongoing thing for like over a year now and some people get it and some people don't but I don't really care and if you're in the same journey um, I guess like this video, subscribe, comment, let me know. If you have a friend, share the video with them so they'll know they're not the only people. But I know I'm not the only one. And maybe together we can have this journey. Maybe you can share a video with me of your journey. And we can be on a journey together, understand each other, and love each other. Because God is love no matter what. And that's what he teaches us. So we love all everyone. I love everybody, no matter what you believe. And if your belief you know, drives you to cover your whole body. If you believe, um, your beliefs drive you to knock on people's door and hand out pamphlets. You know, if you're fervently seeking God and you're, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, what is it? Being a disciple and going out and knocking on doors and talking to people and spreading the good news and rock on, y'all. Whatever makes you feel awesome. Whatever makes you feel close to the guy. But my voice is so grumbly because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. And I've had no sleep, so. I love y'all. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, hit that notification bell so you can see more videos. Um, I love y'all. Be safe. Be blessed. Be kind. Be loving. And be back. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.